Jessica Lange, a legendary actress, is known for her award-winning performances in Hollywood. Despite struggling with severe depression, she never opted for psychoanalysis or therapy. Lange's rise to fame began with her role in the 1976 adaptation of King Kong, which won her the Golden Globe for New Star of the Year. Her career took off from there, and she became a household name. Woody Harrelson, now 59, has built an impressive career as a versatile actor. He first gained recognition for his role as bartender Woody Boyd on the hit television show Cheers, which aired from 1985 to 1993. Harrelson's endearing portrayal of the lovable but naive Boyd earned him a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series in 1989. Harrelson's career soon expanded to film, where he showcased his ability to tackle a wide range of roles. In 1994, he starred alongside Juliette Lewis in the dark comedy Natural Born Killers, directed by Oliver Stone. The film received mixed reviews, but has since become a cult classic. Harrelson's performance was praised and he continued to take on diverse roles in films such as The People vs. Larry Flint and Wag the Dog. In The People vs. Larry Flint, Harrelson portrayed the controversial publisher Larry Flint, earning him a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Actor. His nuanced performance resonated with audiences and critics alike, highlighting his versatility as an actor. In Wag the Dog, Harrelson played a disgraced soldier, demonstrating his ability to excel in both dramatic and comedic roles. Harrelson's career continued to flourish in the 2000s, with notable roles in films such as No Country for Old Men, Zombieland, and The Hunger Games series. In No Country for Old Men, Harrelson played a small but pivotal role as a sheriff, while in Zombieland, he showcased his comedic chops as the fast-talking, rule-following Tallahassee. In The Hunger Game, Harrelson portrayed Hamish Abernathy, a former victor turned mentor, alongside Jennifer Lawrence. Beyond his acting career, Harrelson is also an advocate for environmental causes. He has been a vocal supporter of sustainable farming practices and has even started his own organic farm. Harrelson has also been an outspoken critic of deforestation and has worked to raise awareness about the importance of preserving the world's forests. In conclusion, Woody Harrelson's career as a versatile actor has spanned over three decades with notable roles in both film and television. From his breakout role in Cheers to his advocacy for environmental causes, Harrelson has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry and beyond. Lee Merriweather's career has spanned over six decades, and she has made a significant impact in the entertainment industry. As Miss America 1955, Merriweather began her journey in the spotlight, and she has since become a household name for her iconic roles in television and film. Born on May 27, 1935, in Los Angeles, California, Meriwether's interest in acting began at a young age. After high school, she attended City College of San Francisco, where she studied drama and was crowned Miss San Francisco, which led to her competing in the Miss America pageant. Meriwether's acting career took off in the 1960s when she landed a role in the popular television series, The Time Tunnel. However, she is best known for her portrayal of Catwoman in the 1966 Batman film, where she starred alongside Adam West and Burt Ward. Meriwether's performance as Catwoman was a career-defining moment, and she became an instant fan favorite. In the 1970s, Meriwether took on the role of Betty Jones in the television series Barnaby Jones. She starred alongside Buddy Epson, and their on-screen chemistry was undeniable. Meriwether's portrayal of Betty Jones earned her an Emmy nomination in 1977 for Outstanding Continuing Performance by a Supporting Actress in a Drama Series. Throughout her career, Meriwether has continued to act in theater, TV, and cinema. She has appeared in numerous productions, including The Munsters Today, All My Children, The Love Boat, and Matlock. Meriwether has also lent her voice to various animated series, including Spider-Man and Star Trek The Animated Series. Meriwether's contributions to the entertainment industry are not limited to acting. She has also written a book, In the Kitchen with Lee Meriwether, which features her favorite recipes. Additionally, she has been an advocate for various charitable organizations, including the American Heart Association and the National Multiple Sclerosis Society. In conclusion, Lee Meriwether's career is a testament to her talent and versatility as an actress. From her early days as Miss America 1955 to her iconic roles in Batman and Barnaby Jones, Meriwether has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. 
Her continued work in theater, TV, and cinema is a reflection of her passion for acting and, and her contributions to various charitable organizations demonstrate her commitment to making a positive impact in the world. Initially making his mark on the stage, Bruce Willis quickly transitioned to television before becoming a household name in Hollywood. His breakthrough role in the comedy drama series Moonlighting showcased his ability to blend humor with a leading man's charisma. However, it was his portrayal of John McClane in the Die Hard series that cemented his status as a bona fide action star. These films, known for their high-octane sequences and Willis's Everman hero persona, have become classics in the action genre. His versatility as an actor was further demonstrated in Quentin Tarantino's Pulp Fiction. In this film, Willis played a boxer with a troubled past, delivering a performance that was both tough and vulnerable. This role, among others, proved that Willis could handle complex characters and not just the straightforward action roles he was famous for. Throughout his career, Willis has shown a knack for selecting roles that play to his strengths while also allowing him to explore different facets of his talent. His journey from the stage to the apex of action cinema is a testament to his enduring appeal and the mark he has left on the film industry. His performances continue to resonate with audiences ensuring his place in the pantheon of action heroes. Willis's legacy is defined by his ability to connect with viewers through characters that are both relatable and larger than life. Transitioning from her music and TV career with Sonny Bono, Cher has continued to make her mark in the world of entertainment. Born Sherilyn Sarkisian on May 20, 1946, she adopted the stage name Cher and rose to fame as part of the singing duo Sonny and Cher in the 1960s. Their popularity led to the successful TV show The Sunny and Cher Comedy Hour, which aired from 1971 to 1974. Even after their divorce in 1975, Cher's career didn't slow down. She continued to release hit albums and even ventured into acting. Her film debut came in 1967 with Good Times, and she went on to star in numerous movies, including Silkwood, Moonstruck, and Burlesque. Her performances have earned her critical acclaim and several awards, including an Academy Award for Best Actress in 1988 for Moonstruck. Cher's youthful appearance has been a topic of discussion for years. She attributes her ageless look to a busy lifestyle and nutritious diet. Despite being in her 70s, she still performs and tours, proving that age is just a number. In recent years, Cher has remained active on social media engaging with her fans, and sharing her thoughts on various topics. She has also been a vocal advocate for LGBTQ plus rights and has used her platform to raise awareness about social and political issues. In conclusion, Cher's contributions to the entertainment industry are enduring and resonate with fans of all ages. Her talent, versatility, and dedication to her craft have made her a beloved figure in the world of music and acting. Felicia Rushad, an actress of great renown, first gained fame for her role on the beloved television show The Cosby Show. She played the character of Claire Huxtable, a successful lawyer and loving mother, for eight seasons. Rushad's portrayal of Claire was warm and relatable, making her a beloved figure in American pop culture. Beyond her work on The Cosby Show, Rushad has had a long and distinguished career in both television and theater. She was the first black actress to win a Tony Award for Best Actress in a Play which she received for her performance in the 2004 Broadway revival of A Raisin in the Sun. Rushad's win was a significant milestone, as it recognized the contributions of black actresses in the world of theater. Rushad continues to act in films, TV, and theater, and her work has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. She has been a trailblazer for black actresses, paving the way for future generations to succeed in the field. In addition to her acting work, Rushad is also a dedicated educator. She has served as a professor of drama at Howard University and has been a mentor to many young actors. Through her teaching, Rushad has helped to nurture and develop the talents of the next generation of performers. In conclusion, Felicia Rushad is a highly accomplished actress and educator who has made significant contributions to the world of entertainment. Her work has resonated with audiences and has left a lasting impact on the industry. Rushad's legacy as a trailblazer for black actresses will continue to be celebrated for years to come. Hal Berry, a name that resonates in the world of Hollywood, has had a remarkable journey in the film industry. Struggling early in her career, 
Barry faced numerous rejections and obstacles before finding her footing in the acting world. Born on August 14, 1966, in Cleveland, Ohio, Barry's dream of becoming an actress began at a young age. After winning a local beauty pageant, she decided to pursue a career in acting and moved to New York City. However, her initial years in the city were challenging as she struggled to find acting jobs and make ends meet. Despite the hardships, Barry persevered and eventually landed her first major role in the 1991 film Jungle Fever. Although her part was small, it marked the beginning of her successful film career. Over the next few years, Barry appeared in various films, including The Flintstones, Bullworth, and Introducing Dorothy Dandridge, for which she won an Emmy Award. However, it was her role as Storm in the X-Men franchise that catapulted Barry to international fame. Her portrayal of the powerful mutant was both captivating and iconic, earning her a legion of fans worldwide. In addition to her work in the X-Men series, Barry also starred in the James Bond film Die Another Day, further solidifying her status as a Hollywood lister. By the 2000s, Barry had become one of Hollywood's highest paid actresses, with her films grossing over $4 billion worldwide. Despite her success, Barry remained humble and dedicated to her craft, always pushing herself to take on new and challenging roles. In conclusion, Hal Barry's journey in the film industry is a testament to her determination and resilience. From her early struggles to her eventual success, Barry has left an indelible mark on Hollywood, inspiring countless aspiring actors and actresses along the way. Lonnie Anderson is an actress who gained fame in the 1970s and 1980s for her role in the hit television show WKRP in Cincinnati. In this popular series, she played the character of Jennifer Marlowe, the beautiful and intelligent receptionist at a struggling radio station. Her portrayal of the character earned her multiple awards and nominations, including two Golden Globe nominations for Best Actress in a Television Series Comedy or Musical. Anderson was born on August 5, 1945, in St. Paul, Minnesota. She began her acting career in the early 1970s, appearing in various television shows and films. However, it was her role in WKRP in Cincinnati that brought her to national attention and made her a household name. After WKRP in Cincinnati ended in 1982, Anderson continued to act in television shows and movies. She appeared in numerous made-for-TV movies, including The Jane Mansfield Story and Partners in Crime. She also had recurring roles in popular television shows such as Nurses and Soap. In recent years, Anderson has remained active in the entertainment industry, appearing in various television shows and films. In 2020, she starred in the Lifetime movie My Daughter's Psycho Friend. At the age of 75, she continues to act and entertain audiences with her talent and charisma. Throughout her career, Lonnie Anderson has left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Her portrayal of Jennifer Marlowe and WKRP in Cincinnati remains iconic, and her contributions to television and film continue to be celebrated by fans and industry professionals alike. Despite the many challenges she has faced throughout her career, Anderson has remained a resilient and enduring figure in the world of entertainment. John Ratzenberger, a seasoned actor, began his career in London during the 1970s. He is widely recognized for his memorable role as Cliff Clevin in the popular television series Cheers, which brought laughter to many households throughout its run. However, Ratzenberger's talents extend beyond live-action performances. He has also made a significant impact in the world of animation, particularly in the works of Pixar. His voice has brought life to several beloved characters, including Ham the Piggy Bank in Toy Story, Mac the Truck in Cars, and the Abominable Snowman in Monsters, Inc. Ratzenberger's contributions to the entertainment industry have left an indelible mark, and his work continues to resonate with audiences of all ages. His ability to bring humor and warmth to his characters has made him a beloved figure in the world of acting. As we delve deeper into his career, we find that Ratzenberger's journey in the entertainment industry is far from over. With his talent and dedication, he continues to captivate audiences and create unforgettable characters that will be cherished for generations to come. The legacy he has built is a testament to his enduring impact on the world of film and television. Tim Roth's acting career has been defined by his work in Quentin Tarantino films, but his story begins long before that. As a child, Roth had aspirations of becoming a sculptor, showing an early interest in the arts. This artistic inclination would eventually lead him to acting, 
a career that has spanned over three decades. Born on May 14, 1961, in London, England, Roth's career began in the early 1980s with small roles in British television shows and films. His breakout role came in 1984 when he starred in the film, the hit alongside Terrence Stamp and John Hurt. Roth's performance caught the attention of critics and audiences alike, and he quickly became a sought-after actor in British cinema. In the early 1990s, Roth made the jump to American cinema, starring in films such as Reservoir Dogs and Pulp Fiction, both directed by Quentin Tarantino. Roth's collaborations with Tarantino would become some of his most iconic roles, and he would go on to star in several more of the director's films, including The Hateful Eight and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. But Roth's career is not limited to Tarantino films. He has also starred in numerous TV shows and films, including Lie to Me, Selma, and The Song of Names. In 2021, he starred in the critically acclaimed series Tales from the Loop, which showcases his versatility as an actor. Despite his success, Roth remains humble and dedicated to his craft. He continues to take on challenging roles and push himself as an actor, proving that he is more than just a Tarantino regular. From his early aspirations as a sculptor to his current status as a respected actor, Tim Roth's career is a testament to his talent and dedication to the arts. Jacqueline Smith, best known for her role as Kelly Garrett in the popular 1970s television show Charlie's Angels, has made a significant impact in both the entertainment industry and the world of entrepreneurship. Born on October 26, 1945, in Houston, Texas, Smith's interest in acting began at a young age. After graduating from high school, Smith attended Trinity University in San Antonio, Texas, where she studied drama. She then moved to New York City to pursue her acting career, eventually landing her breakthrough role in Charlie's Angels in 1976. The show became an instant hit, making Smith and her co-stars household names. Smith's success on Charlie's Angels led to numerous other acting opportunities, including roles in films such as Night Kill, Deja Vu, and The Users. She also continued to work in television, appearing in shows such as Christie, The District, and CSI Crime Scene Investigation. In addition to her acting career, Smith has also made a name for herself as a successful entrepreneur. In 1985, she launched her own line of women's clothing and accessories, Jacqueline Smith Licensing, which has become a staple in department stores across the country. She has also released several home decor lines and has even created her own line of wigs. Despite her many accomplishments, Smith has faced her fair share of challenges. In 2003, she was diagnosed with breast cancer, but she faced the disease with strength and determination. After undergoing treatment, she became an advocate for breast cancer awareness and has worked tirelessly to raise funds for research and support services for those affected by the disease. Today, Smith continues to act and work on her various business ventures. She remains an inspiration to women everywhere, proving that with hard work and determination, anything is possible. At 72 years young, Ted Danson remains a consummate professional in the entertainment industry. He first gained recognition for his role as Sam Malone in the beloved sitcom Cheers, which aired from 1982 to 1993. Danson's portrayal of the former baseball player turned bar owner earned him two Emmy Awards and three Golden Globe Awards. His charisma and comedic timing were undeniable, making him a household name. Following Cheers, Danson continued to showcase his versatility in various roles, including a stint on the critically acclaimed drama Damages and the comedy Help Me Help You. However, it was his role as the Demon Michael in the NBC series, The Good Place, that once again captured audiences' hearts. Danson's ability to balance humor and drama, while portraying a character that is both charming and devious, earned him yet another Emmy nomination. Throughout his career, Danson has proven himself to be a talented and dedicated actor. His contributions to the entertainment industry have left an indelible mark, and his fans continue to cherish his work. Despite his many accolades, Danson remains humble and committed to his craft. He is a true testament to the idea that age is just a number and that actors can continue to thrive and entertain audiences for decades. In recent years, Danson has also become an advocate for environmental causes. He has used his platform to raise awareness about the importance of protecting our oceans and has even founded the Ocean Conservation Organization, OCEANA.
Danson's passion for the environment is yet another example of his dedication to making a positive impact on the world. As Danson continues to work in the entertainment industry, fans can look forward to seeing him in new and exciting roles. His energy and charm remain unmatched, and he continues to be a beloved figure in the world of television. Whether he's making audiences laugh or advocating for important causes, Danson's impact is sure to resonate for years to come. Julia Louis-Dreyfus first rose to fame in the 1980s as a cast member on the popular sketch comedy show Saturday Night Live. Born on January 13, 1961, in New York City, Louis Dreyfus honed her comedic skills on SNL, where she became known for her memorable characters and impressions. After leaving SNL, Louis Dreyfus's career continued to soar with her role as Elaine Benes on the iconic sitcom Seinfeld. The show, which aired from 1989 to 1998, became a cultural phenomenon and solidified Louis Dreyfus's status as a comedy powerhouse. Throughout her career, Louis Dreyfus has been recognized for her exceptional talent with numerous awards and accolades. She has won more Emmy Awards than any other actress in history, with a total of 11 wins. In addition to her Emmys, she has also received several Golden Globe and Screen Actors Guild Awards. Louis Dreyfus's success is not limited to her work on Saturday Night Live in Seinfeld. She has also had notable roles on shows such as The New Adventures of Old Christine and Veep. Her performance on Veep earned her six consecutive Emmy Awards for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series. Despite her many accomplishments, Louis Dreyfus remains humble and dedicated to her craft. She continues to push boundaries and take on new challenges, proving herself to be one of the most talented and versatile actresses in American television. In conclusion, Julia Louis Dreyfus's contributions to the world of television comedy are immeasurable. From her early days on Saturday Night Live to her iconic role on Seinfeld and her successful runs on shows like The New Adventures of Old Christine and Veep, Louis Dreyfus has left an indelible mark on the industry. Her many awards and accolades are a testament to her talent and enduring appeal. Samuel L. Jackson is a household name in Hollywood, known for his powerful and commanding presence on screen. He has become a superstar in the film industry with a career that has spanned over four decades. Jackson was born on December 21, 1948, in Washington, D.C., and grew up in Chattanooga, Tennessee. He became interested in acting at a young age and went on to study drama at Morehouse College in Atlanta, Georgia. Despite facing racial discrimination and nearly losing his life in a hazing incident, Jackson persevered and began his acting career in the late 1970s. He appeared in several Broadway productions and made his film debut in the 1972 black exploitation film Together for Days. However, it was his collaboration with director Quentin Tarantino that truly catapulted Jackson to superstardom. He starred in Tarantino's films Pulp Fiction, Jackie Brown, and The Hateful Eight, delivering unforgettable performances that showcased his versatility and range as an actor. Since then, Jackson has become a fixture in blockbuster films, appearing in hits such as Star Wars, The Avengers, and Jurassic Park. His distinctive voice and imposing presence have made him a fan favorite, and he continues to be in high demand in Hollywood. Despite his success, Jackson remains humble and dedicated to his craft. He has received numerous accolades for his work, including a Golden Globe Award and an Academy Award nomination. In conclusion, Samuel L. Jackson is a true Hollywood superstar, known for his iconic roles in Quentin Tarantino films and his continued success in blockbuster movies. His enduring legacy in the film industry is a testament to his talent and dedication to his craft. Kelsey Grammer, at 65, has had a long and successful career in the entertainment industry. He is best known for his roles in the popular television shows Frasier and Cheers. In Frasier, he played the title character Dr. Frazier Crane, a psychiatrist and radio show host. This role earned him several Emmy Award nominations and a Golden Globe in 2001 for Best Actor in a Television Series Comedy or Musical. In Cheers, he also played Dr. Frazier Crane, but this time as a recurring character and the love interest of Diane Chambers, played by Shelley Long. Despite a tragic childhood, Grammer has persevered and made a name for himself in the entertainment industry. He was born in St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands, and his parents divorced when he was two years old. When he was 11, his father was stabbed to death in a street mugging. 
These early experiences shaped Grammer's life, but he found solace in acting and pursued it as a career. Grammer's career spans over four decades, and he has appeared in numerous TV shows and films. In addition to Frazier and Cheers, he has had roles in The Simpsons, Boss, and Girlfriend's Guide to Divorce. He has also lent his voice to animated films such as Anastasia and Toy Story 2. Grammer's talent and hard work have earned him a place in the entertainment industry, and he continues to act in various TV and film roles. His contributions to the industry are significant, and his fans continue to cherish his work. Grammer's legacy is a testament to his resilience and determination, and his impact on the entertainment industry is enduring. George Wendt, now 71, is a beloved actor best known for his role as Norm Peterson in the hit television show Cheers. Wendt's acting career began with small roles in various productions, but his big break came when he was cast as the lovable barfly in Cheers. Wendt's portrayal of Norm Peterson earned him critical acclaim and a devoted fan base. His character was known for his witty one-liners and his love of beer, and Wendt's performance made Norm one of the most memorable characters in television history. Before his success in Cheers, Wendt appeared in small roles in films such as My Bodyguard and House Setter. He also had a recurring role on the television show Saturday Night Live in the early 1980s. Wendt's talent and hard work paid off in 1995 when he received an Emmy nomination for Outstanding Guest Actor in a Comedy Series for his appearance on Sisters. He eventually won the award in 1995, solidifying his place as a respected actor in the industry. Despite his success, Wendt remains humble and dedicated to his craft. He has continued to act in various television shows and films and has even taken on roles in theater productions. In conclusion, George Wendt's career is a testament to his talent and hard work. From his early days in small roles to his iconic performance as Norm Peterson in Cheers, Wendt has left an indelible mark on the world of acting. His contributions to the industry are cherished by fans and peers alike and his legacy continues to resonate with audiences today. Shelley Long, born on August 23, 1949, has left an indelible mark in the world of television and film. The talented actress is best known for her role as Diane Chambers in the hit television series Cheers. Long's portrayal of the sophisticated and quick-witted waitress earned her several awards and nominations, including an Emmy for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series in 1983. Long's career began in the 1970s when she appeared in various television shows and commercials. However, it was her role in Cheers that catapulted her to fame and solidified her status as a talented comedic actress. After leaving the show in 1987, Long went on to star in several films, including The Money Pit, Outrageous Fortune, and Troop Beverly Hills. Despite taking a break from acting in the 1990s to focus on her family, Long continued to act in films and television series. She appeared in popular shows such as Frasier, Boston Legal, and Modern Family. Long's ability to portray a wide range of characters has earned her respect and admiration from both audiences and industry professionals. Throughout her career, Long has received numerous awards and nominations, including four Golden Globe nominations and two Emmy Awards. Her contributions to the entertainment industry have been recognized by her peers and she continues to be a respected and admired figure in Hollywood. Now in her 70s, Shelley Long continues to act and inspire audiences with her talent and versatility. Her enduring legacy as a talented actress is a testament to her dedication and passion for her craft. From her iconic role in Cheers to her numerous film and television appearances, Long has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry that continues to resonate with audiences today. Anne Margaret's career as a singer and actress has been nothing short of impressive. She has won a total of six prestigious awards, including five Golden Globes and one Emmy. Born on April 28, 1941, in Stockholm, Sweden, Anne Margaret's family moved to the United States when she was just a child. Her career took off in the early 1960s when she was discovered by George Burns while performing at the Dunes Hotel in Las Vegas. She soon signed a contract with 20th Century Fox and appeared in several films, including State Fair and Bye Bye Birdie. Anne Margaret's talent and versatility as a performer quickly gained her recognition in both the film and music industries. She released several successful albums and earned a Grammy nomination for her work. 
Throughout her career, Anne Margaret has taken on a variety of roles, showcasing her range as an actress. She has starred in both film and television, earning critical acclaim for her performances in Carnal Knowledge, Tommy, and Who Will Love My Children. In addition to her Golden Globe and Emmy Awards, Anne Margaret has also been nominated for an Academy Award and a Tony Award. Her contributions to the entertainment industry have been recognized with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Despite her many accolades, Anne Margaret remains humble and dedicated to her craft. She continues to act on TV and in movies, captivating audiences with her talent and charisma. Her impact on the entertainment industry has transcended generations, and she is truly a living legend.